watch this way. Try to keep up. My name is Jerry Wallace, and I talk to Bigfoot. Pretty as a picture. We're going to have one hell of a day today. I can feel it! I guess I first got interested in Bigfoot when I was a kid. I remember my old daddy saying, God rest his soul, he used to say to me, don't be going down the woods by yourself or else a Bigfoot will get you. Sure enough, that's what he said. And all these people are telling all these stories and rumors of pictures and stuff. But when I saw that Patterson Gimlin film, that was the game changer. I knew he was real, and I just had to find him. Okay, so, yeah, there he is there in that one, Bigfoot. That one's kind of blurry, you can see him there. Oh, that's a better one, yep. Oh, that's a picture of nothing. Oh, there, that's the closest I ever got. March 19, 2005. Trouble is, as soon as you pull out the camera, boom, it's gone. So the technique we're going to use today to talk to Bigfoot is a technique that was developed by the natives a long, long time ago, and it's called wood knocking. It's a kind of interesting technique, but you don't just be whacking the tree. You got to do it controlled like this. Kind of like that. So native A would knock on a tree to talk to native B, and he'd knock on the tree to talk back, and they'd be doing this all day long through the forest, communicating with each other. Kind of like a telephone. But what's more interesting than that is that this behavior has been spotted in great apes as well. And what is Bigfoot after all? That's right, a giant ape man. So it's only natural that if Bigfoot's two closest relatives, ape and man, communicate like this, that he too communicates in the same way. <laughs> I reckon I must have spent at least half of my life up here in these woods. And the spare minute I got, and this is where I am. I just gotta find him, you know? My wife used to go on and on about never spending time with her, never seeing the kids. I was tearing Lisa apart. Lisa's my mama, God rest her soul. She went on and on and said I was the obsessed one. I kept telling her, honey, just hang in there. I know he's out there. I know he's real. And as soon as I catch him, we're going to be rich. Yeah, of course. She left me soon after that. Took the car, the kids, the ferrets. I was mighty close to those fans. Okay, cut right there, cut. Anyway, enough jibber jabbing. Come on, this here looks like prime Bigfoot territory. You need to be quiet. Mind you, won't do us any good. It's probably out there watching us already. Remember they used to say the world was flat? that we'd never land a man on the moon? And the Titanic, unsinkable? That's the impossible made possible and probable. Okay, this here looks like a good tree. Come on. Oh yeah, nice, tall, good wood. I think it's gonna do us proud today. Is your sound on? Yeah? Okay, let's talk to Bigfoot. Maybe I'll try that again. Maybe he's taking a dump. Oh, holy moly, did you hear that? Come on, come on, up this way. This one's closer. 
give it a try. I ain't never had one like this before. Hi there, my name is Jesse Whiteman and I communicate with Bigfoot. Hell yeah! <laughs> Bigfoot droppings. Yep, that's Bigfoot. Fresh. Still warm. Let's step it up. Oh! This is great! People say I'm crazy for believing, for actually thinking that he's out there, but I don't care. The world's a big disappointment anyway. Nothing's as big or as exciting as it was when you was a kid, but I like to keep the mystery alive. I believe there's more out there than they would have us believe. Wow. <laughs> You know what? I almost don't believe that. That's the best I've ever had. Be hard for those doubters to say ain't real now. Huh? Yeah. What's that? Jesse? Well now, you can see how, uh, how we're one with nature and I, I hope this has opened your eyes to the, to the Bigfoot. <laughs> Jesse? Jerry, is that you? Hey, oh buddy, it's been a long time. What have you been up to? It's been a while. <laughs> it sure has. Uh, what's with all this uh, get up? I've been showing these fellas how I talk to Bigfoot. Big feet, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, what have you been up to? Well, I've been showing these fellas how to, uh, the old wood knocking technique. Okay, how's it been going? Well, pretty good. I was up at Bluffs Point. And uh, I swear, I had one of the best I've ever had. We was knocking and hollering back and forth for so long. You don't say. I was up at Stump Point, knocking and hollering all day long, too. No way. Yeah. Hey, we must have been pretty close together. I, I guess that means... We must have been talking to the same fella. Yeah. I bet you're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I uh, better get back with these fellas. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yep. Uh, good luck Let's, on your next time. Thank you. Let's catch up soon. We'll go over to them maps again. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.